Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kit. Uh, so, we've got an update on the uh, 80th anniversary D Day group built as hosted by Charlie Mack. I'm doing the 106 German MG42 with tripod uh, Dragon Kit. So, give you a, just gonna give you a quick update of where we are. Let me just move this out of the way. So, first of all, um, I have the MG42 itself completed. Uh, I haven't shown in any of the build process. We've got the bipod on the front, um, which it's fully, well, I say fully operational. It's obviously rotational, so you can move the gun on. If it locks up, up here out of the way once it's on the uh, once it's on the tripod itself, it locks away out of the way like that. Um, this sight was movable, but kept falling out, so I had to stick that in place, which is not too much of a problem. Uh, we have a opening. Let me take the the barrel out locks away we also have a cocking handle here on the side which operates spring inside the mechanism a cocking handle for your bullets be careful with this because Already broken off once anyway, but we'll leave that as it is. And we also have breach open to place your ammunition in. That's not quite right. Not sitting in there properly. It would help if I actually got it in position properly. No. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Um, it's finished off in. Uh, it was Mister Color Buffable Dark Iron, which I think makes. Uh, Really nice, a nice sheen for the MG itself. So we've got a few bits lying around here. Let's move this out of the way. You don't need that really in the camera shot there. We got brass tube in here. This is part of the um, main front leg support, which this is also part of as well. So on the actual uh, tripod itself this is a as a locking arm like this which would sit here and allows you to maneuver the leg up or down this is maneuverable has a small spring on it spring on a little springs there so you don't really want to lose them at this point um i do have my Ammo can. This locks onto the side of the gun. Got a movable handle. Um, also has the opening for where the bullets and that come out. So typical dragon. It, most of it's movable. Um, this should pop open <laughs> if I don't break the bloody thing off. Uh, come on. Open? No, you're not going to, are you? You're just going to call me a liar. Perhaps I glued it in place. No, there you go. So you can wind this up, wind your ammunition up, store it in there, and have that attached to the side of the side of the gun. So put your ammo in there. I don't want to. The ammo's not very really good. 
is rubber. <laughs> I don't worry about where that, gun, that ends up on the side of the gun. Um, here. Uh, trying to think which way round it goes now. I think it's clip in there. Yeah. Clip in there and slide in there, I think, is the way it's supposed to be. Again, it's not. Little things I've got to tidy up and sort out. I've got to paint this up anyway, but yeah, it goes on the side like so. So that's done. Let's put that down there. Um, not off, not far off from finishing this. Uh, this is where we are with the actual tripod itself at the moment. So we got the adjustable rear legs. We got the sight on there. Um, this moves. That was the forwards. Uh, I've got something in the way which is stopping that from going further over that way. Uh, and this also moves up and down. Not like that. Not supposed to be like that. Nothing to actually hold that piece in place. It sits like so. So, freaking now, come on. Really, can't get my fingers in there to make it come up. Right, up, early. Come on, up, up. Not playing ball, is it? Giving me a hard time. Okay, we'll leave you in the down position then. But also, just by rotating this. There we go. Yeah, it moves, also moves it up. You got a height adjustment there. Which is another cool feature. This is all very fiddly stuff, and seriously, like I said before, these instructions, they really don't help. You've really, really, really got to study these to get where you need to go. Uh, so we've got the pads which will go on the front leg so the front leg goes on there. Front leg would go on there like so uh, with the height adjustment like so. All out of, out of position. Out of. So yeah, you got height, 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 little, little. Get me sorted. You got the height adjustment that goes on there. So it's up, and down. Those pads is the back, back pads for the uh, person that has to carry the tripod. So these are the only supports he's got. And you would have a couple of straps which attach to these small loop things on here. But so in operation mode, it's in a fixed position for a while. Uh, you're not going to have those straps attached, they taken off. Um, let me undo this a sec on camera so you can see it. So it folds away. These lug nuts are supposed to stay on it at the moment. So this will fold away. This will fold. This is all supposed to fold down. But I've got a small problem just in here, which prevents it from doing its folding thing. Um, this is only a very tiny bit of plastic, and it's preventing it from folding down. So it's never going to be in a folded down position, but it does collapse down. I had it doing that before I attached that part and 
Yeah, it just sort of screwed it up basically, so. Which is a shame. Because it'd be nice to have it and hold it down position. I'm not putting the slings on the weapon or the actual um, tripod, so. But yeah, that's where we're at. The next stage is to, you know, finish off these legs and bits and uh, then to paint it up. And we'll see how that goes. See you in a bit. I am welcome back. So here it is. Here's the finished item. Um, I can't get it on a rotational, unfortunately, because... Uh, it's one six scale, it's pretty big. Um but hands out of the way. This this is the finished product. I said I didn't put the straps on, I wasn't going to put the straps on. Um these are the pads I'm talking about uh, which go on the front there. Got a bit of weathering in on the thing. Um not that you're gonna see on there and this no I don't know let's stick and see if I take the barrel out hmm. take the barrel out there for a sec so we drilled out in just about see we, we drilled the end of the barrel out so it was a bit more so it should be like that because uh, Not really realistic without it, is it? So, yeah, we drilled that out. Um, painted the ammo container green, gave it a little bit of dust effects over it for like weathering and stuff. Um, beaten, beaten it about a bit. Because it's something that would get beaten about, even if it's in stationary position. Uh, right, so during painting, I've got one leg at the wrong angle. I think it's the right leg. Um, during painting, because it was all put together, shall I say, um, I've got paint in here and no longer um, rotate the raise and lower part of the <clears throat> um, that part of the build anymore. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and take it apart without damaging it and free it up. Um, we we do still move here though. Do still go. Bit harder than it should be because of the paint that's paint everywhere to be honest with you. But yeah, no, that's it. MG forty two by Dragon on heavy duty tripod. And that's my completed build for the eightieth anniversary d-day group build that's hosted by charlie mac hope you like it thanks for watching thanks for all my new subscribers i really appreciate you guys jumping aboard thanks to all my old subscribers for staying with me um see you in the next one bye for now